Hi, so Anna here. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the apothecary side of Island Girl Hides. Um, that is something that is lesser known, but definitely something that I do offer. Um, I spent, just so you understand, the last few years or so, um, it's been about three years now, I've been building Island Girl Hides as far as my hide work is concerned, um, my hide tanning, my jewelry, um, everything that I do. Um, as far as skulls and bones and all that stuff. However, there is an apothecary side to Island Girl Hides. And what that consists of is, for the last couple of years, I've made it a point to um, meet with and spend time with multiple herbalists, shaman, um, and medicine men and women, and just getting ideas um, and knowledge on um, plant power, basically. I believe in the power of plants. Um, I also do believe in modern medicine. However, I do believe that uh, Mother Earth does provide us with everything that we do need. And the more I know, the better I, the better off I will be in the long run, as well as my family. Now, the list of things that I do concoct, make, um, and, and actually put out there on the website is small. And the reason it's small is because, um, I'm not a doctor, you know, I'm not gonna dive into that. And Lana said this heart tincture would, <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Um, I do have a very long list of things that I that I am capable of doing. Uh, my family and myself have all been guinea pigs along the way as we um, work on these things and, and people test certain things for me and I mix and I match and, and you know, it, it's all a learning experience. But um, I do offer in the shop now, which I think I'm going to go ahead and expand. I did put off a separate side of my website as the apothecary side. Um, but I, what I offer right now is an immunity booster. Um, it's got echinacea, it's got some um, elderberries, rose hips, um, and quite a few other ingredients. However, um, I, I drink it three or four times a week. I've not had so much as the sniffles for the last couple of years, you know. I, I'm not saying that that's completely it, but you know, mixed with a good diet, I do believe in the power of plants. So um, I sell quite a bit of that. I do really well with my teas and my soaps and stuff. Um, another one that I offer is headache tea. And this headache tea um, is very special to me. My mother growing up had horrible debilitating migraines. I remember as a kid, you know, we, we had to keep the curtains drawn and, and we had to play quietly when she felt a migraine coming on. Um, so this one is a little bit more dear to me and I love to be able to help folks in that department as well. This headache tea um, packs a punch. It's got a lot of fever few. It's got chamomile, willow bark, um, and a couple other things in it as well. But it's definitely, definitely a lifesaver for anyone who has migraines or headaches. Um, I've been told that the headache has dissipated quite a bit by the time you get to the bottom of the mug. So um, putting my heart and soul into all of this and knowing that I can help people is ultimately the bottom line as far as I'm concerned. Um, it kind of ties into the Island Girl Hides concept of no waste and putting my love um, and you know my energy out there. The other thing that I offer in the way of tea is my sleepy time tea. Um, this one is very earthy because it has um, valerian root in it. If you're familiar with valerian root, it can be a little stinky. Um, it is masked with a bit of, of um, lavender, some peppermint, some chamomile as well. Um, but if anybody out there is familiar with valerian, Valerian's a tough one. So that one specific tea, all my teas come with, you know, suggestions on the bags. Something that you could do is add a bit of dried fruit or I keep dried orange peel that I put in some of my tea. I put rose petals in some of my teas or lemon, um, even dried pineapple I put in some of my teas too. And dried pineapple, by the way, pineapples carry bromelain. Bromelain's very good for the sniffles, for colds. Um, another natural thing we have there that we can put to use. Um, but I also do offer some acne soap. I do make all of my teas and my soaps per order. I like things to be as fresh as possible when you do receive them. Uh, but my acne soap actually came from um, an elder that I spoke to who um, 
the kids would always come to this specific person. Some people ask not to be mentioned, but they would come to this specific person. You know, they're coming into their teenage years and the acne is out of control or it's on their back. And um, it has been, this specific soap has been um, tested quite a bit, my own teenager included, um, but it's also something that can be used all over the body as well. So for anyone who may have acne on their back or on their shoulders or on their arms, this is extremely useful um, and it's safe enough. All of my products are 100% safe for your body. Um, face, and your, your skin is, is sens even sensitive skin because it's all natural, it's all organic. Um, now, so you understand that bit as well, um, I grow a lot of my own herbs. If I don't have it, I do have a source here that's close, a friend that grows a lot of herbs as well. Um, and this goes back three generations with this specific family. Um, they're wonderful people. They know, you know, my mission and, and they just want to spread the love as far as um, getting medicine power plants out there to people. So they're more than willing to, if I don't have something, um, I go to them. Now, if between us we don't have it, then I do have a company that I will go to out in California, Northern California, um, that I adore. They've got everything under the sun. So if I need something specific, um, I will definitely go to them. Um, and they'll definitely have it. Now it is all organic. Um, I'm very picky about the plants that I use. I don't just, you know, hop online and pick the first thing that I see. It's very important to me that my plants are clean, where they come from, they're organic. That's very um, important to me. So I do have tons and tons and tons of recipes here that I've been working with for ages. I've got everything from, you know, constipation remedies to sore muscle remedies, um, rash creams, eczema creams, sore muscle rubs, you name it, I can make it. Uh, I just don't advertise that because again, I'm not a doctor and I don't want the backlash out of all of that. So I keep it short and simple. If anyone would like to give me any ideas or have any ideas that, hey, Anna, you should probably add this. It's a pretty generalized thing. I'm always open to suggestions. So um, I would take suggestions from anyone who may have something useful that I can add to the line. Um, but really outside of that, I'm gonna show you a little bit around my apothecary here, here in the house. Um, all of my things that I operate around every day when I make my teas and my tinctures and my salves. But um, really, other than that, the best way is to just um, get a hold of me. Let me know what you're thinking. If you, if you want to share something with me or if you have an idea and you want me to maybe, you know, bring it to life. If you, hey, this tincture, this salve or whatever. Again, I'm always learning. I'm always open to learning and um, more than willing to share things with folks. So let me show you around a little bit. So... Over here is my most useful area. This is all my um, most used herbs, most used um, bits that I put to use on a daily basis. So all of my herbs, again, um, a lot of things up here in these packets, you know, people are constantly asking me what is in the packets. Those are herbs that I use on a regular basis that are already pre-measured out for me. Um, I do have a little scale over there. I do weigh things out as needed, but when it comes to something that I use on a regular, uh, a lot of that's up there and it's already in pinchable portions. Otherwise, I go straight for my big guys and my big canisters um, or bags down there, the big things that um, I use more of on a regular basis. Outside of that, I also do have, I keep baskets of fresh herbs here, there, and everywhere um, that I will go for a pinch here, a pinch there. And then I have the apothecary itself over here. Um, this is altar, This also kind of doubles as my altar, um, but all my medicine, yeah. herbs that I use the most of, um, that are the most important to me, and my oils are all in here that I use on a regular basis. So I am going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Thank you again. Um, I just wanted a chance yeah. to let folks know about the apothecary side of Island Girl Hides because I don't think a lot of people know about that. So any questions or concerns, you can always reach me via my Etsy website. It is Island Girl Hides on Etsy or Facebook or Instagram. Outside of that, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks.